Welcome to the video lectures on fluid mechanics. In this video, we are going to learn a dimensionless numbers and its significance. Right. Now, what is a dimensionless number? The di definition goes like this. Dimensionless numbers are those numbers which are obtained by dividing the inertia force by other force like viscous force, gravity force, pressure force, surface tension force and elastic force. That means we are going to divide the inertia force by other types of force. That means each force, that means inertia force by viscous force will give us one of the dimensionless number that is Reynolds number. Similarly like inertia force by gravity force, inertia force by pressure force, inertia force by surface tension force, inertia force by elastic force will give us some of the different types of dimensionless numbers. In that first one we are going to study about the Reynolds number and its significance. Now what is a Reynolds number? The definition of Reynolds number is ratio of inertia force to viscous force of a fluid. We call this one as a Reynolds number. That means Fi here is the inertia force. Inertia force and Fv is the viscous force. Right. Now inertia force, I will write Fi is mass into acceleration of fluid. Now what is mass? Mass, before going to this mass, we know the density. What is density? Density is nothing but mass by volume. So mass is equals to density into volume, right? And I substitute this mass, that is density Fi is density into volume into acceleration I can write it as velocity by time right now what is volume by time is nothing but discharge Q Q is A into V that is area into velocity right now when I substitute this in Fi formula that is inertia force rho into velocity by sorry volume by time volume by time is nothing but A into V into V here velocity is V so Fi will be rho A V square always remember for the next dimensionless number, we will not going to derive this Fi formula. Directly we will go with the other forces here. Right? Now Fi is what? Rho A V square. Now viscous force Fv. Viscous force is the shear stress, shear stress into area. Right, here this is the viscous force. Shear stress is what? It is nothing but tau into area A. Tau is what? Tau is mu into du by dy. Right, mu into du by dy into area A. What is du? Du is nothing but the velocity. Dy is nothing but the distance. Right, that means mu into velocity by length into area area again I can write in terms of L into L also right now we got Fv as Fv as this thing right now after that I shall substitute Fi and Fv in the actual Reynolds number so Re by definition will get Fi by Fv right Fi is what rho a v square divided by fv fv is mu v by l into area a so these two get cancels of remaining will be rho and velocity velocity get cancels of rho v 
L will go on the numerator divided by mu. That means Reynolds number is equals to rho V L by mu. Always remember Reynolds number is rho V L by mu. Right. Now also I can write Reynolds number as V L divided by mu by rho. What is this mu by no rho? Is nothing but nu. That is the kinematic viscosity. Dynamic viscosity by density is nothing but the kinematic viscosity. So I can write V L divided by nu. Nu is the kinematic viscosity here. Right? Nu is what? It is kinematic viscosity. Right. In pipe flow, the Reynolds number will be not rho v l by mu, the Reynolds number will be rho v d by mu or you can write rho sorry v into d by nu. This will be for the pipe flow problem. Right? That means l will be replaced by the diameter of a pipe. Now what is its significance? Now significance of Reynolds number. Here you can see in this it is mainly of the inertia force by viscous force. Here the viscous force is predominant. right? Now if the Reynolds number is greater that means the greater will be the inertia force because inertia force should be greater to be the Reynolds number to be greater here. That means inertia force should be, should be higher than the viscous force then only the Reynolds number will be greater here if if in the reverse case that means the viscous force is predominant that is more than the inertia force what happens then that means the Reynolds number will be less when the viscous force is uh, is more right that means the Reynolds number is a criterion for dynamic similarity in the flow situation where the viscous force is predominant this you need to remember here viscous force is predominant where we use these things right that means flow in a closed and open channel closed channel it might be a pipe flow right open channel it might be the channel flow through a channel here right now moving body completely um, under water like submarines and all those things low velocity uh, low velocity air moving around the automobile and aeroplanes Right. This Reynolds number cannot be used when there is a high speed plane which is moving or the fluid which is moving over a body or a projectile if the velocity of the fluid is more very much higher then we cannot use this one. When the velocity of the fluid that is air is more or the velocity of the projectile is more then it becomes a compressible flow. When the velocity is more, it becomes a compressible flow. In that situation, we cannot use the Reynolds number. That means only when the velocity of air is very less, then we can use. That means it is an incompressible flow fluid. Now, the flow. Next one is flow through low speed turbines. Why we are again considering it as only the low speed turbines? Because in low speed turbines, we have the incompressible fluid which is going right now coming to the next one that is the fruit number right now fruit number is defined as the inner it is the ratio of a square root here you need to remember here in the Reynolds number we don't have any square root here that is the inertia force by viscous force only in this we don't have the square root but apart from others are uh, remaining uh, leaving this Reynolds number all other dimensionless numbers has the square root right it is a ratio of square root of inertia force of a flowing fluid to gravity force right now what is gravity force fg is the gravity force here i'll write this one fg gravity force is nothing but force due to gravity that is mass into acceleration due to gravity here again mass is what mass is nothing but we have derived in the previous thing mass is nothing but density into density into volume right 
into acceleration due to gravity g volume i can write it as density into area into length into acceleration due to gravity here right now when i substitute this in fe formula fe is equals to root of inertia force we already discussed inertia force is nothing but rho a here we have inertia force is rho a v square right inertia force is rho a v square here right i'll substitute that rho a v square divided by rho a l into g so this rho a rho a will get cancels of remaining will be v square divided by l g root of v square divided by l g or else i can write f e is equals to v divided by root l g this is the fraud number this is the fraud number this is the fraud number right again i'll uh, repeat again uh, now the it, uh, fraud number is the ratio of square root of inertia force of a flowing fluid to the gravity force here this one you need to remember fraud number is the significance of a gra uh, gravity here now what is its significance fraud number sorry this is fe fraud number governs the dynamic similarity of flow situation if gravitational force are prime importance here the gravitational force are the prime important here this we need to remember this is the significance of a fraud number now where we use this fraud number here the flow of liquid jets in an orifice orifice plate is a circular plate in a circular hole that circular hole diameter will be half of the diameter of a pipe right flow of liquid jets from orifice flow through open channel this is one of the sec uh, second one and moving ships in rough and turbulent sea and next one is flow over a notches and via notches vias and spillway of a dam these are some of the example of fraud number next one is the eulers number here some of them tells euler number some of them euler number here right euler number is defined as the ratio of square root of inertia force of flowing fluid to a pressure force here you need to remember this is a pressure force and square root it is a ratio of square root of inertia force of a flowing fluid to the pressure force here right what is inertia force fi we already got fi is equals to rho a v square this we already derived this and next is pressure force pressure force is what it is nothing but the pressure intensity p into area pressure force p is for p a pressure p is equals to f by a that is the force force is equals to p into area here that is what the pressure force here pressure intensity into area when i substitute this value in the above equation that is euler equation or euler's equation is the square root of rho a v square divided by p into a right now this area area get cancels of remaining will be rho v square by p root of rho v square by p or else i can write v divided by square root of p by rho this is the euler's equation this is the euler number sorry this is the euler number euler number is ratio of square root of inertia force of a flowing to the pressure force now what is its significance significance euler number signifies when the pressure force are predominant pressure force are predominant what is the example of that flow through pipes we can use discharge through orifice mouthpiece and slices water hammer created in a pen stock what is pen stock again the pen stock is a larger diameter pipe where we use it for a turbine or a 
from the dam to the power house that is a water carrying devices or the pipe where it is been fitted in between the dam to the power house that is a penstock here right flow over a submerged body submerged bodies here we can say it as in terms of submarines or body which is flowing under water or water which is flowing completely under bodies right or oh, that is the submerged bodies here these are the examples of euler number next coming is the weber number weber number it is again the square root of inertia force of a flowing to the surface tension force here we are writing in terms of the inertia force by surface this is square root of inertia force by surface tension force inertia force fy is equals to rho a v square we already derived this one next surface tension fs surface tension is what is nothing but the surface tensile tension into the length its surface tension force is nothing but surface tension into the length here and i substitute both in the above equation that is the weber number we is equals to square root of rho a v square divided by sigma into l here right now area is what area is the meter square it might be length into length here so i can write this one as rho l v square divided by sigma rho l v square divided by sigma here this is what l into l so l l get cancels off so i'll be writing rho l v square divided by sigma or here or else i can write w e is equals to v divided by square root of sigma divided by rho l this is nothing but the weber number now what is its significance weber number signifies w e is important in a case where the surface tension forces are predominant surface tension forces are predominant there we use this a uh, weber number here and what are its example the capillary action of a tube what is capillary action It is a rise or fall of a liquid in a small diameter tube that is the capillary action of a tube that is due to a adhesive force right now next one is very thin sheet of liquid flowing over a surface that means a small layer of a fluid which is flowing on a surface and liquid atomization like a uh, spray of fuel in a diesel engine there there we can use a weber number here and flow of body in blood in veins and arteries flow of blood in veins and arteries these are some of the examples of weber number next last one is the mark number right last one is the mark number here right what is mark number it is the square root of inertia force of a flowing fluid to the elastic force this is called as mark number but we people we know it is a ratio of velocity of a body or a projectile by velocity of sound how we got that one we'll going to derive this that is fi is the inertia force that is rho a v square we already have this term next one is the fe fe is the elastic force that is the elastic stress into area right elastic stress here is k into area a right this is a elastic force here elastic stress into area is the elastic force here now mark number i'll substitute both mark number m is equals to rho a v square divided by k into a so these two get cancels of remaining will be v divided by square root of k by rho right v divided by square root of k by rho that is nothing but a mark number here or else i can write mark number 
m is equals to v divided by c what is v here v is the uh, velocity of the fluid or it might be the projectile velocity of the fluid or it might be the projectile if the fluid is flowing over a body then it is a velocity of a fluid or if the fluid is constant and the projectile is moving then it is the velocity of a projectile and what is c c is the ratio of square root of k by rho right it is a ratio of square root of k by rho k is what k is the elastic stress divided by density of a fluid it is nothing but the velocity of sound this is what the velocity of sound is right now what is its significance now mach number if the mach number higher mach number signifies predominance of effect of compressibility of a fluid right when we say the mach number is 2 that means it is a supersonic that means we define that mach number it is a compressibility of a fluid right that means it uh, the fluid which is flowing there it will be more than the velocity of the sound or the projectile if it is moving Uh, in a fixed or the stationary fluid that means that that velocity is more than the velocity of sound that means the compressibility of a fluid that means one layer which is there on uh, after other layer will get compressed there that is the higher mark number signifies predominance of effect of compressibility of a fluid next one is mark number is important in compressible flow problem at higher velocity right mark number is always used when we discuss with respect to the projectile or missile or a plane which is flowing there that means it is only used when we have a higher velocity or compressible fluid in a compressed fluid or a compressible fluid here right or compressible flow next examples we use for missile and a projectiles missile and a projectiles there we use that is in aerodynamic testing next is the water hammering problem what is water happening hammering it means when we close the wall valve and the fluid is flowing so all the fluids will come suddenly hit the uh, uh, valves of a pipe valves of a pipe that is nothing that sudden force which is acting on the small duration of time is nothing but the hammering effect if the water is doing that one it is nothing but the water hammering problem next one is the flow of gas exceeding the sound velocity right flow of gases exceeding the sound velocity these are some of the example for mark numbers right thank you